In this video, we're going to explore the delivery features of the Firefly POS system. Let's take a look at the dispatch screen. On the left, we have delivery orders ready to go out. On the right are eligible drivers. These are people who are clocked in to a job type that is checked as a driver or eligible to become a driver. The orders are sorted oldest to newest, or you can press C sort to sort by zone. They're also color-coded. Red means they're, they're late, according to their delivery promise time. Blue means the order is still in process, and they'll turn a warning color before they become late. If you click on an order, you can check the map, as well as the traffic conditions, driving directions, even a street view of that customer's house. If you select multiple orders and then touch map, the driving directions will go from house to house. The drivers are sorted according to who is next in line to receive an order and color coded so green indicates that the driver is out on a delivery. The timer below their name lets you know how long they have been out. Use the activate driver feature to add eligible drivers to this screen. For instance, the manager Marky may be eligible to drive, but not automatically active. Let's go ahead and assign an order to Josh. We touch the order in his name and hit assign, but before we can proceed, we're required to set up a bank for Josh. So we'll go to driver status, assign bank. This is an optional requirement. It defaults to $20, we just hit assign. Now we can assign Josh that order. We've also set the system up to require us to enter starting mileage for Josh's vehicle. The driver alert feature lets you pop up a reminder to drivers for key items or messages on the ticket. You can also configure your system to automatically reprint a clean ticket when the order is assigned, or use the Print Run feature to print a summary of all the tickets the driver has assigned. The In Process screen shows the specifics of which orders are out for each driver. With proper security, you can unassign an order from here. When Josh returns from the delivery, we'll just touch his name and select Return to record his runtime. Now let's look at the driver status screen. This shows all the assigned tickets and a financial summary. Generally, we recommend that you set your system to settle tickets automatically, so they will be settled to the prearranged tender type or to cash as the default. On the settle screen, a, ca a driver can select a ticket and undo the settle if they need to settle it to a different tender type. This is also where the driver would enter in a tip on an order. The driver drop feature allows the driver to drop any cash on hand. You'll configure this to specify where those drops go, like a cash drawer or a driver box. You can also specify if drops are required at a certain limit of cash. Of course, you can also unassign a delivery from here and complete your shift close, which is the topic of a different video. So there's a basic overview of the delivery dispatch process for you. Happy dispatching!